Oh. I can't believe this. My wife is upset with me. All because I went out and some random lady started to sniff on my neck and said I smelled awesome. I mean, what? Am I not supposed to smell good? I know she's upset with me. I really don't know. Hey guys, what's going on? What's going on, my peeps? What's going on, my peoples? Alain here again with a brand new edition of White Boys Fragrance Corner. And today I'm going to show you guys my top 10 most complimented fragrances of 2020. So stay tuned. Alright guys, before we get down to business though, the giveaway, yes, no winners decided as yet. So make sure you head over to Instagram at whiteboys underscore fragrance underscore Kana, make sure to follow, look for the picture with these two fragrances and leave a comment in the section why you should be the winner of one of those giveaways. Bear in mind this time around it's, on, it's only going to be Switzerland wide but eventually we'll get to a worldwide level. So get there, leave a comment and let's see if we can pick a winner. So with that out of the way my top 10 most complimented fragrance of 2020. Now this year, it was a bit weird with the entire COVID-19 situation. Then we had, we had a lockdown, then we had some ease in the lockdown, and then we were back in some form of a lockdown. And it was just a weird year to get people's reactions. Especially for me, I tried my best to stay home as much as possible. Um, that's just me though. So this year it was a bit a bit weird with getting compliments. However, these 10 fragrances that I'm about to show you, they were my top 10 complimented for this year. So first up, Roberto Cavalli Umo La Notte. This is actually in my winter list for 2020. And I did wear this in, uh, in the beginning of the year. I wore this and uh, I wore it over the past few weeks and this never ceases to get a compliment from me especially from my co-workers they, they like the scent and I think even one of them purchased a bottle for himself because it is a good scent I've been talking about this house a lot and uh, I do own Silver Essence actually just a new edition I did an unboxing and first impressions video and I leave that link in the description so yeah, Roberto Cavalli Umo La Notte garnered me some compliments. By the way guys, try and get a sample of this. Very beautiful line. Next up, because we did see a ease in the any restrictions over the summer, I mostly got a chance to flex my summer based fragrances so to speak. And uh, this is actually a 2020 release which I was very eager to pick up. Aqua de Jo Profondo. Now I'm a huge fan of this line. I absolutely love Profumo and this flanca, man, this is such a lovely flanca. This is like the original Aqua de Jo DNA on steroids. It's amped up, they have modernized the DNA a bit and this is such a lovely aquatic freshy. I did manage to to gather some compliments with this while wearing this over the summer especially when I went down to the riverside or I just went out to have a cold beer in those hot summer days especially when I was on vacation and uh, I got some compliments with it not a whole lot I got maybe like about three but solid release from the house and yeah one of the compliment get us of 2020 next up again Another must have summer scent, Dolce & Gabbana Intense. So what can I say about this fragrance that has not been said before? This is definitely one of the favorites for everybody to wear in the summer because it gets the job done. Fresh, citru citrusy, aquatic, mass appealing, it gets compliments leaves you smelling fresh and cool over the summer enough said Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense um as I said this is actually one every year this gets 
compliments for me. So, yeah. Now, bear in mind, this list is actually a mishmash of niche and designers. Because, as I mentioned before, I really didn't get a chance to go that much to make two separate lists. But next up on the list is my second favorite from that house so far. Yeah, I think it's my second favorite. Creed Silver Mountain Water. I know Aventus is not my favorite from the house, it's actually Green Irish Tweed, which I need to get either this year or probably next year, most definitely I need to get it. Yeah, so Creed Silver Mountain Water, you know, with that lovely tea note. It does have some fruity notes in it as well. It's a fresh, clean fragrance and uh, when I wore this, I, I did com get compliments with it where like some ladies were saying, Alien, what you have on, you actually smell good. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm rocking that silver mountain water, you know, top shelf. Yeah, so. This is nice. Even though some people find that there's a, a little metallic inky note in it, to me, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. It might bother some people, but this is... This is nice, so yeah. This gets the job done for me almost all the time, so create silver mountain water. Now, while we're at niche, why not stick to niche? And I've been raving about this particular fragrance for the longest, and I do think it's worth the hype. But number nine, Lika Street. Yeah, apart from the bottle looking a bit tacky, that star-shaped bottle, this is a lovely, fruity scent this is actually my wife's favorite I think she loves smelling this on me she loves wearing it herself uh, I think I need to get her her own bottle eventually and um, I've said this already I think in my niche list if I'm not mistaken um, the highlight for this was over the summer I think sometime in August I was DJing at a pool party and um, you know when I was on a break and I was walking about, you know, having a having a drink and stuff like that. Um, I got compliments non-stop. I mean, like the lady stopped me and they were like, white boy, what are you wearing? And uh, my good friend, Jermaine, <laughs> she was like standing beside me and she was hugging me. And she was just standing beside me and she didn't stop sniffing me. Like she was like, you smell so yeah, good. And yeah, that's the band number nine, Bleecka Street Factor right there. Lovely, lovely fragrance. And if I'm not mistaken, when my wife wore this, well, as a matter of fact, um, I actually decanted it, a bottle for her. And um, even I think her supervisors and managers were like, whoa, what you're wearing. So, band number nine, Bleecker Street. This gets the job done as well. All right, let's head back over to a designer. And this is actually a very great smelling cheapy. I love this. Bentley men absolute. Now this does get compared to Gucci for home, which is discontinued. And the same perfumer that did Gucci for home is responsible for this. So I can see where the similarities come from. And this is this is such a lovely uh, aromatic woody type of fragrance especially with that cedar wood in, in there this is lovely and um, most of the time when I wear this especially to work um, I do get compliments from my co-workers and this made my fall list but this can be worn any season if you ask me summer, spring, autumn or winter but best spring and probably autumn and the price point on this like the price but you pay next to nothing for this believe me and the quality is so good as a matter of fact i think the entire bentley for men line is solid bentley for men intense bentley for men azure bentley for men black i need to try that and i think they have a new one out now which is called silver lake i haven't gotten my nose to that as yet I can't find it in Switzerland, but eventually. This, I would say, 
I need to own the entire line. Just like Roberto Cavalli, I want to own the entire line. This is the next one which I need to own the entire line because the price point is very good, especially at discounters, and they're solid fragrances. Don't sleep on this, guys. Bentley Man, absolute, don't sleep on it. All right, so we have four fragrances left, and uh, four of them, they're niche. So it's not per se that, yeah, most of my complimented fragrances in this list are niche. Doesn't mean that niche are better than designers or that every niche fragrance gives you compliments. It's just that this year, I was probably just lucky enough to get compliments when I was wearing niche fragrances. I'm not sure. Now this is actually my second pickup from this particular house, which I picked up this year. And this is Lair de Salve Swiss from Andy Tower. Now, I wore this on two occasions. One day I wore this to work, which immediately I got a compliment. And then I wore this on a on a, another occasion, I think it was a Sunday evening, I went down to my friend's restaurant and they had some form of birthday party going on down there and I received some compliments from the ladies. So definitely, definitely solid release from Andy Tower. And um, I'm going to dive further in this house next year, definitely. But it's like, he's based here in Zurich, so come on, man. I need to, you know. But this, it's like, um. This is sweet, but not overly sweet, but it has some form of coolness to it, some freshness, just like it says, you know, Swiss Mountaineer, definitely. So, yeah, Lair, Lair de Salve Swisses from Andetoa, got my compliments this year as well. Moving on to Mr. Tom Ford <laughs> from Tom Ford Private Blends Collection, and this is Venetian Bergamot. I wore this couple times in spring. I wore this on a couple occasions um, over the summer and it, it got the job done. I did receive um, compliments with this and even though it says bergamot, this is like, it's not citrus heavy as I would expect. This is like an aromatic woody type of fragrance and this is lovely. Um, I think this is a fragrance, you see that you love, you see that you like it or you don't like it. Um, it doesn't get talked a whole lot. There are some YouTube reviewers that uh, that do that do mention this in uh, almost every list that they do. Um, and other, okay, other YouTube reviewers, you don't hear anything about this. But to me, this is this is actually a solid fragrance from, from the house of Tom Ford. And that's the reason why I have a 100 ml bottle as well. So yeah, Venetian Bergamot by Tom Ford. Moving on to another one now, which um, is a loved fragrance in the community. Amouage Reflection Man. Now, this gets compared to Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, or saying that this has the same type of vibe, and I do get that. But this is 100 times better, if you ask me. This is, to me, in my humble opinion, this is actually a 10 out of 10 fragrance for me. It is floral, but not too, fl not too floral. It has some sweet elements in it, but not overly sweet. It's, it's just a well blended fragrance. And uh, I definitely need to dive more into the house of Amouache, but Amouache Reflection Man. Now, moving on to the last fragrance. And if you have been watching my videos, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you. Let me see. All right, the label is at the, uh, is at the front now. This is Red Tobacco from the house of Mancera. Now, I did receive this fragrance about a month ago, maybe five weeks. I've been wearing it a lot. And look at this. The reason why this is at this level is because I've been decanting this a whole lot. Because I do decant and sell my fragrances. Yeah, it's a shame this plug I just did. I need to support my habit, innit? So, uh, whenever I wear this, they're like, yo, what is smelling? I need to have a decant of it. So I've been decanting this a whole lot and solid, solid tobacco fragrance. 
but as I always said, don't let the opening fool you. The opening is off putting, the open or the opening smells medicinal. It doesn't sound um, doesn't smell pleasing whatsoever, it smells very off putting, but just give it some time and as soon as the that opening fades away, maybe like about 10 minutes after, then this beauty starts to shine. And the longer this sits, the better this gets. So, Red Tobacco by Mancera. It got me a whole lot of compliments in a very short time span. Do not overspray with this. This is actually a very powerful fragrance. Um, this is definitely fall. Late fall as a matter of fact, winter. Don't see it in spring or summer, but then again, you know, once you control the sprays, you can wear anything, anytime. You just need to control the sprays, but I wouldn't do 10 sprays in summer with this. But definitely, definitely solid, solid release. And Mancera, if you actually search online, you'll get them at a very reasonable cost. So I actually have one more Mancera there. I'm not gonna probably can open that Christmas but um, that's actually Black Prestigium which I wanted for a while but I know you guys see this but I'm not I'm, I'm trying my best not to open them before Christmas because I wanna do a Christmas fragrance haul video so yeah okay I, I let the cat out of, out of the bag but oh well that's how it is so there you have it guys, my top 10 most complimented fragrances of 2020. Even though it was a weird year, I managed to, to get some compliment and I managed to smell sweet all year round. So yeah, that's how it is. Anyhow guys, um, you know, if you like this type of content, I'll definitely appreciate if you could click on the subscribe button and while you're at it, why not click on the notification bell as well so you will be updated whenever you're friendly yeah you see that friendly face this is a friendly jamaican face whenever you're friendly jamaican fragrance reviewer uploads a brand new video and while you're at it you can also catch up with me on social media um on facebook white boys fragrance corner or over there on um, instagram at white boys underscore fragrance underscore corner that's where i actually interact with you guys mostly so there you have it guys as i mentioned before about the giveaway, you need to follow me on Instagram and in the comment section, you need to state why you think you deserve to win that giveaway. And I think I might do a giveaway over Christmas as well. Let's see how it goes, but um, yeah, that's that. So with that said and out of the way, man fish smell good. You can't look good and smell like Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I don't like Brussels sprouts. I hate Brussels sprouts. They, just, they don't smell pleasing. If you don't know what Brussels sprouts is, they don't smell good. Don't smell like Brussels sprouts. Yeah, don't. You need to probably smell like the angel light blue. Especially the warm weather. Alright guys. Stay blessed. Stay safe. White boy is out.